calculate the molar solubility of aluminum hydroxide in 0.015 molar aluminum nitrate. I'll give you the KSP of aluminum hydroxide. All right, so our KSP for aluminum hydroxide will look something like, let's see, that is a three plus. OH is a minus one, so there'd be three of those. So that'd be what our KSP looks like. And in terms of the solubility, 2 times 10 to the negative 30 second is going to be equal to, for every aluminum so hydroxide dissolved, there'd be one aluminum, but there'd be three hydroxides. So we'd have something like so. And we are going to add some of this aluminum nitrate to begin with. So we have something like so. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave that like that. All right. First thing I'm going to try to do is solve this using assumptions. And I'm going to assume the S is very small. And that's probably a safe bet. With how small this KSP is, this stuff doesn't dissolve very well at all. So what we're going to do on that assumption, we're going to assume that this is basically going to stay as 0 0.015. And I am going to distribute this 3, that cubed. So I have 3 times 3 times 3, 27s cubed. Now without, now that 3 is distributed. All right, and I'm just going to solve for that and see what I get on my calculator. So I have 2 times 10 to the negative 32nd divided by, I'll do them separately, 0 0.015 and then divided by the 27. And now I need the cube root of that. And I get a very small s of 3.7 times 10 to the negative 11th. And that is very small compared to that 0 0.015, so we can kind of guarantee that's a safe assumption. But just to see what happens if you have the TI, we're going to plug it in with the S and the 0 0.015. So I'm going to put that in as an X. And 3X cubed. And then minus... 2 times 10 to the negative 32nd. And graph it. Now we're going to calculate a 0, somewhere between 0 and whatever my first. That's got to be big enough. Because we can see the values already. Actually, we can't. There. Now it's definitely above the 0. I'll start my guess at zero, and I get pretty much the exact same number. But now I can write down more digits because my calculator can give me a little bit better prediction. Still, I only have one significant figure because the two times ten to the third, so um, doesn't help that we're more precise on the calculator in this case.